Hey guys, do you have any plans to make fluid dynamics more transparent or simplify it? It's kind of exhausting to stabilize uh, square 600 meters pipes. We don't know. I Fluids wish we. Are... I wish we mm -hmm. did though, mm -hmm. because I agree with with that. I, I brought Same. this up multiple times internally, and, and uh, it's always like a question of priority because it's it's hard to like. Okay, so from our perspective, when we implement features that a lot of people use and they work well enough within the game, right? It's hard sometimes to argue that like we should rework this feature. When, but like so many people already use it, and people can find ways. It's it's annoying. So like whenever I brought this up, it's always been a, a question of priority from our side. Like sure, we could we can try and revamp the the pipe, uh, the fluid dynamic system, and like make them clear or whatnot. But that's going to take a substantial amount of time for us to yeah. to to do. And it's always like we could be spending time working on this new feature, that's really interesting. Um, <clears throat> And uh, it's oh, it's it's a constant like battle between like what is what is important to do right now, um, and for 1.0, this was one of the things that we were talking about like, can we make fluid dynamics more more um, like streamlined and make it clear how it works? Because we've talked about this on many streams, how how uh, fluid dynamics isn't clear. Sometimes it seems like the game is bugging out, but it actually isn't. It's just how the fluid dynamics works, mm -hmm. and like if we had clear way of representing fluid dynamics, maybe people wouldn't run into these issues. Um, and <laughs> there are certainly ways to build with pipes where people just straight up don't run into any issues. Uh, but it's not clear and it, you have to like go on Reddit or like watch someone stream the game and have them explain it to you to be able to, to get to that point. Um, so, so I've often argued that I think it's important to, to make this change. Uh, but uh, we just haven't had time to do it. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe this is something we can look into more in the future and see if there's anything we can do. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, th I think the, the main thing from our side really is that like we don't really have a good solution for this like internally, like how we would do it. I think it would take a substantial amount of work to actually figure out like UX wise, like how do we make it clear and, and, and whatnot, unless we just straight up give you debug information. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit similar to how train networks used to use uh, work with the blocks, right? Because we didn't used to have that like coloring thing on the train tracks, right? Where when you place block signals, you didn't know visually like which block it it, it was a part of, mm. um, and, and like that's a substantial implementation, but but it was we felt it was warranted uh, internally, and, and yeah. It long story short is is. I, I hope we can bring this up again and, and discuss mm -hmm. it internally. And it can become up like, I don't know, 1.1 or something. But we're aware of that. Uh, I recommend checking out some of the guides. Um, there are some really nice ways to build with pipes. Uh, and, and, you know, once you get a hang of it, um, you know, it is fairly, I don't want to say it's simple because it still is quite, quite complex. You just still need to like mm. debug it and whatnot. But like once you get a hang of it, you, you know how to like handle it. Um, so, so skill issue, no, <laughs> no, but like, ah, yeah, we'll know, we know about it, and, and it for sure, it for sure is like one of the weaknesses in our game. I would say um, that it's not clear what's what's going on, and and I, I wish we would prioritize it more, but <laughs> that's just my personal take. Yeah, it's not just get good us, he did. Yeah, just yeah. get good. But bam.